ever since like I can remember. What I think and feel on the inside isn't fully projected because of my shyness. I just remember back in the days where I'd have outfits that I thought were mean. And my mum's like, why do you want to wear that? It's got holes in it. It's... I've always definitely felt like clothing was one way to express what I couldn't express in words. My way of saying something without even opening my mouth. I get worried that I'm like embarrassing to the Māori culture because of my lack of knowledge. And I don't want to be like a fake Māori or like a, a white girl Māori. I think I've been called that before. But my mum is Pākehā and my dad is Māori. I was brought up in a household where we spoke English. I went to a school that spoke English. Growing up, I remember being embarrassed to be Māori, which is really, really sad to look at while I'm older because now I'm so damn proud to be Māori, especially, especially going overseas. It was a real big wake-up call. Overseas, no one knew that we had a language that was different to English. And that really upset me because it, the reason they don't know we speak another language is because of people like me who don't speak it. <laughs> My name is Mia Paranehi. My iwi is Nati Tufari Toa, and my marae is in Whanganui. I feel like my Māori is part of my identity and made me who I am. Hello, camera. <laughs> me and Mia first met back in high school. I wasn't really introduced to her personally, but I just remember seeing her. And then last year, she moved to Sydney, and you know, I just said, what's up? You know, do you need someone to show you around? Just since then, we've just been like two peas in a pod. Ka pēhia tō tūwhiti i te whakamā i pēhia ki runga i o mātua tīpuna. Te taonga kaore i pīrangi tia, ka whakarere anoa i te whenua me te ahurea ka whānakuhia. I whakahekea e nga whakatipuranga o mua mai anō he kura i mā kutsuhi anōhia e ngaro noa i ākoe. Me pēhia tō whakamana i o tīpuna me te whakamana i ākoe anō, ka tukuai i nga mama e hara nō. The feeling that you can get when you know you look good, there's like a certain energy that you find within yourself. Being able to pass on that feeling to other people through clothing is really rewarding. <laughs> I started FM Clothing back in 2017. For about two years, it was just a hobby. And then at the start of 2019, I decided to go a little bit more serious. I wanted to make it my full-time job. Mia came on mid-2020. It's just gone from strength to strength, and now we both share the load. This is our factory space here, so this is where all the packing and where we store our stockers. Sounds going to Tauranga. There's one that like went to Kenya yesterday. We work really well together in deciding our drops and organising. Like perfect. So my weaknesses are his strength and his weaknesses are my strengths. 
Finding the balance between personal and work life can sometimes be a struggle. <laughs> we would wake up in the morning and the first thing we do is answer emails or DMs and then all of a sudden we're having breakfast as a, you know, as a couple. We do not have work life or personal life balance, so I don't want to pretend like we do. I'm still trying to find <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes things for work are also things that we would actually do as a couple. So we'll do like a photo shoot while we're on a date <laughs> and just enjoy time with each other. Shocks is definitely a key factor in being able to balance the work and personal life kind of forces us to get outside and have a breath of fresh air. Shocks has also kind of become part of our brand. It's like our little, little child. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better dog, honestly. Like, yeah. We love them. <laughs> we, we love, love them. We nice. love Shocks. <laughs> we definitely want to take Effin as far as we possibly can. Most of our customer base is Australia and New Zealand. We'd love for it to be more worldwide. Keep the ball rolling. Mm. We want everyone to be wearing FN. Kia uki tō mana huake, rukia atu te korowai o fakama, e harama o tena e mau. Kuhuna ketia, te tsi ramarama tanga o tō anamata. Mano atia hoki o tsi puna, ma te pupuri i tō mana huake, a hareake nei. My name is Lavi Vesselino. I uh, go by the handle of Fresh Brands. I'm half Samoan, half Cook Island. When someone asks me, are you Samoan? I always get scared to say yes. It's an expectation that I should speak the language. And I know I don't. And I get scared and I say, no, I'm Cook Island. I don't know my culture to a T, and because I don't, I feel a little bit less. And that's why I call myself plastic. How do you find your place in a world that feels lost to you? Mena e tupurangi ana te tahi taha o tō tuakiritanga, anō ko nā pota pota o inamata. How do you overcome these uncertainties? We are at uh, my parents' school here in Pacifica. We're called Blestus. It's a family nickname that we have. Everyone calls us Blestus. Just come in have a good feed. You won't be disappointed. Come on down. I was born in Palmerston North. My dad's family lived in Auckland, on my Samoan side, but we'd only come up and visit them for school holidays, birthdays. I felt, in a way, that I was for Cook Island. We regularly uh, attended the Cook Island Christian Church. We'd go down to the local uh, Cook Island Hall and, and be with all the other kids. Coming up to Auckland after being with my Cook Island family, it was hard because we didn't understand the way they were working. My dad taught us to do this, but my nan and my Cook Island side telling us, no, no, that's not how you do it. You gotta be like a high chief to be wearing these kind of things. I'm not a high chief yet, but one day. It's my dad's one. <laughs> it's my grandma's room. She was our prayer warrior, always in here doing your prayers. My most strongest connection with my Samoan side was uh, my grandmother. This is the most important for us, my, my grandma and my granddad. I feel sad saying it, but when we first got here, I always tried to avoid her. 
I didn't want her to talk to me and feel disappointed like all I did was ask him to make me a cup of tea and he bought me a bread. Me, my brother and my grandma, she came from Samoa and in the 80s um, with a vision to give all her kids and her grandkids a better life and um, she definitely did that. Last year when we had her 90th birthday, we did a big birthday for her. She worked herself into the front table. And now, yeah, two months later, she passed away. My grandma told me, not through her words, but through her actions. She told me the importance of family, unconditional love. She told me about respect. She told me to love my dad, even though he's annoying. <laughs> she was the best. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good in here. My family means everything. Hello and welcome all to your Safari Spectacular experience. If you look to your left, you'll see the... Satan Samuel. I started Fresh Brands in 2015. I didn't have a job. I was sitting at home, waiting for everyone to get home to cook dinner. That, that's pretty much what I was doing. I had done a few videos like online and I got a few comments, a few likes there. It makes you feel a little bit good. And then I decided that one day like, okay, I'm gonna do a page. Just skyrocketed from there. It's a Streets on the old plantation from South. Five, five, beer, five, five, beer. People that started loving my content. The animal layer. Oh, the pussy. Oka, oka, was a big pussy. I was just doing skits on my own life, and I didn't do it for anything but my enjoyment. <laughs> Do I get hate on videos? How are you? Kick it shit like, kick it shit like, kick it shit like Bruce Lee. Okay. Back when I first started, I was talking about like girls like, you know, with size 12 shoes and that mustache on their face. Doesn't mean it was right. One video I just got blasted. I wanted to go into hiding. That's how bad it was. It was just like people saying like, you shouldn't be saying things like that. And here I was at home like, but it's just a joke. <laughs> But then I saw all those comments, I was like, okay, if one person did it, maybe. But if, if like 35 girls are commenting the same thing and then 100 girls are liking the comments, something's wrong. And so yeah, and then and that's how I learned. I've been doing this page for five, six years. The future for me, I want this to be my full-time job. I want to take opportunities when I get them and just, yeah, roll with it. By finding the pieces of yourself that were lost and putting together the puzzle of your identity, you will find strength from where you once shied away. Ah, kahua mai tō taharuatanga, hei taonga hora mau e rangona ai te ora. How do you hold on to your identity when the way you see yourself is not the way others see you? Tō wahi i tō uake tua kiritanga, tō mana āhua ake. How do you 
find healing from this false economy and find conviction in your true self. Yau e tipu aki ana, e tū aku waiwai ki ngā ao e rua ala ko te ao Pākehā me te ao Māori. Pauri ngē tehi o aku whāko i taua wā me ki. I kurai nā au mo te kura tuatahi ki te tehi kura Pākehā. Ko tā te mahi a ngā tai tama i taua kura ko te hāwene i a hau me te ki ngatū nui, ngatū nui ngē rā mea. Ko te āhua tango ku ngutu he Māori tino moke moke a hau i taua wā, i aku wā kura tuatahi. Ki a rātau, ko taku āhua tanga e haki i te Pākehā. Although I, you know, he patu paere he a hau, I felt like I was totally accepted and adored and safe in um, tōku ao Māori. Tino whaiau me ki tēnei huarahi o te tū hei kaiwaiata i te tau rua mano te kauma ono, tērā te tau i mate ai taku kui. He wā tino pauri ki a hau, e rangi ahakua haere au, ka ki te au i ngā kāhu e rere ana. He tohu tēnā ki a hau, ko tērā tōku kui, e manaki ana, e tiaki ana i ahau. E nākau nui ana ahau, ki ngā manu rangatira, ki te kāhu anō ki. Nō reira i whakaingo ati ai, aku mahi si tō reo Māori, ko te kāhu. Ki ahau nei, ko thea e rite ana ai, ki a hene nui te pō. Ko ia te atua te mārai kura meki, o te wāhi ngaro, o ngā mea pōuri. Koira te take i kō whiritia tēnā i ngoa mō. I tīmata au ki te whai i tēnā i huarahi o te tito waiata me ki. I te wā i au e tamariki tonu ana, ono whitu pea aku tau. I te wā ka tuhi au i ngē tehi pāo me ki. He kupu noi ho e rangi ko tāku he āpiti i te rangi me ki. Nō reira he waiata e rā mea. Tō te aki nga maramatanga e te atua mō tō mātou. Mā te tito waiata ahau e whakaputa i aku kare aroto i ngā mea e ngau ana i taku manua i ngā mea pauri i roto i aku waiata ka tito au e pāna ki ngā anahera, e pāna ki ngā tipua, ngā tanifara nei, arā ngā mea pai me ngā mea anu-anu. He pai ki a hau, te whakatauri te me ki, i te ao pauri, i te ao marama anō. Ko i rā mea e rua, e hikoi tia ana e a hau me ki. I roto i tētehi o aku waiata ko 99% Angel te hengoa. E whakamahi ana au i ngā kupu mō te anahera, i ngā kupu mō ngā tipu ano hoki mō ngā tanifa. Ata is morning, right? So therefore, ata māori is good morning, right? But then ahi ahi is our kupu for afternoon. Atu i aku mahi tito waiata, mō whia, mō te kāhu anō hoki. Ko te tehi aku mahi he toro atu ki ngā kamupene, mō tā mki makaurau nei, ngā kamupene o te ao pūoro. Ko taku mahi he whakāko i a rātau ki ngā tikanga, ki ngā kaupapa, e pāna ki tō mātou ao Māori, ki a māma ake me ki te tū a te kamupene Pākehā ki ngā wāhi Māori. Ko te whainga ka patu i te kaikiri, nā taku kaha whakāko i te reo Māori ki roto i tēnā i tēnā o rātau Pākehā mai, tauiwi mai. Kia pūrangi aho me ki tō rātau mōhiotanga ki tō mātau ao me te atāhuatanga 
o tomato ahurea o mata tikanga kawa wayata era makatoa kororia by casting off the opinions of others mete mana po ite mura kero to yakwe ka pikitia e kwe na mamai o mua by fostering your own connection to your identity ki to ahurea mete mai mua e to kura ka pua wai mai to mana ahua ke Yeah.